feels good. It feels really good. Um, just having this time to be back. Um, obviously, the break was good. But getting back out here and getting back into the swing of things, it feels good. Did this last year when Aaron wasn't here, mm -hmm. you kind of feel a little more confident this time around this season, just going into this off-season workout like this, knowing you're the guy? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I've, like, every year I've been here, it's just when you come back, it's more confidence and just more comfortable with the system, um, knowing what's going on a little bit more, get to learn a little bit more um, once you get comfortable with the system. So, yeah. What have you been like to lie on to get that comfort in the first few days at least? Um, I think it's just being comfortable with the plays, really. Um, we're starting off with, you know, some basic stuff, install one and, and building on. So just having a good foundation and knowing what I'm doing. Um, obviously with some younger guys out there, um, that's where you got to rely on, just knowing what you're doing. So. What, did, what were your biggest takeaways from the games that you did get to play in last year? And just what did you work on this offseason heading into your chip? Um, yeah, I think, I think just getting out there and being able to play, um, it was huge. Um, and, you know, obviously it's a process being a quarterback in the NFL. Um, and the more reps you can get uh, in that game, it, it helps. So uh, you know, there's a lot of takeaways, that, things that I wish I can uh, do better, and then obviously things I felt I did good. So uh, just trying to work on, on uh, those things, uh, tightening the details. And whatnot. So what Jordan Coach was talking about how things sort of pile up a little bit on the rookies as OTAs go on. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that pile on your shoulders is a little bit less than it used to be? Oh, for sure. Um, I mean, as a rookie, you're learning all this for the – kind of the first time and every day it's like new plays are getting thrown at you so um, I definitely think once you have been here and uh, know what you're doing it, it's easier um, to go through that. What are your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers not being here? Do you kind of wish he was here and how can you guys communicate? Um, I mean I think that's Aaron's game plan is to you know he doesn't really need this this time right now so uh, I enjoy it him not being here. It just means more reps for me, more reps for everybody else in the quarterback room. So um, obviously, I'm loving it. So the Jordan, there's a fair there? amount of veterans out there today. Mm -hmm. But you know, Coach was saying a couple of weeks ago, when the vets are here, it heightens the competition in the room. Do you feel that? Heightens uh, the competition. What, yeah. Is just everybody you're saying? Yeah, when everyone's here. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the vets bring a certain aspect to practice that it's it's almost a different practice when they're not here because. Everyone else doesn't really know how to practice until they get here, and they kind of set the tone and set the tempo for everything. So uh, it, it is, and obviously everyone wants to compete. Everyone wants to be like the best person in their room. So you know you're competing with them and also with yourself. So. A, lot of job, a lot of focus on the wide receivers, obviously in Green Bay from the outside. What do you think you have with that position group? Um, I think we got a lot of weapons. Obviously, uh, bringing up some new guys. Um, the rookies that are here right now, I think they're doing a, a really good job so far. You know, just keep learning and second them on. But I think they're a really good group of receivers. And obviously, the guys we have here, I think highly of. I've got a chance to, you know, be around them and play with them. Um, so I think we have a really good receiver. What's enjoyable this year about, you know, having the amount of contact you have with the coaches and your teammates, especially after the last couple of years of you've done a lot of things on Zoom and maybe not even eating a lot of deals together for a lot of people? Yeah, no, it's it's different. I mean, if you look back to the first year when COVID was, was huge, like we weren't even here, we were doing everything on Zoom, so we weren't seeing each other. So just being around each other, getting that uh, team chemistry down and um, just having fun with each other, it's, it's huge. Is it easier to learn things that way? I definitely think so. I mean, Zoom, it's, it's, it's I won't say hard to focus, but you're sitting at home on a computer all day, like you get tired of just looking at the screen all day. So it's uh, definitely a little bit easier being here. Jordan, what do you feel like you know going into year three better than you in year two? Um, the offense, for sure. Um, just being able to learn and grow in that offense, and then obviously being able to, you know, recognize defense, recognize recognize coverages, um, and, and going against our defense for the second year with uh, Coach Barry here. It's just you kind of get more comfortable seeing things and uh, knowing kind of what they're going to do. Um, so it's just really just learning in those reps. What was your reaction when you heard about Aaron's extension? Yeah, I mean, I was super happy for Aaron. Obviously. Uh, you know, the the dude deserves it, obviously, what he's done the last two years. Um, but, you know, personally for me, it's it it's, uh, just means that you know, I'm about to be a backup again um, for this year. Um, and that's all I can control right now. But, uh, you know, I was I was happy for Aaron, but at the same time, it's like, ah, you know. How did you find out? How did I find out? Um, I found out on Twitter. Like, my phone was, like, I woke up and my phone was just blowing up. Um, with tweets and stuff, and, and I, saw, I clicked on Twitter and I saw it, so I was like, okay. With all of that being said, last year there were a lot of questions whether or not Aaron would be back, but this year you know he'll be back. Mm -hmm. So mentally, is it different for you this off season? Um, 
I would say it's kind of, I mean, going into it, it was kind of the same because you didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and obviously now that, you know, he signed, he's back, I don't think it changes anything for me. Um, like I said, I'm still here. I'm still going to do my job and I'm competing to try and be that guy if he wasn't here, if he is here. So, uh, and, and like you said, he's not here right now, so I'm getting all those one reps. So I, I look at it as I'm the guy right now. So that's how I look at it. How much, do you, how much more ready do you feel for that shot this year than you did last year? What was that? How much more ready do you feel for that shot? You know, if you, you know, had had a shot, you know, be the starter, mm -hmm. be the guy. How much more ready do you feel about that than this year than last year? Um, I mean, I feel I feel good right now. Obviously, like I said, <clears throat> I feel better in the offense and learning things. So obviously, I think I have taken a step in the offense and I feel more comfortable in it. But um, I always feel confident that if I get thrown out there, I'm gonna be good. So. Do you think how's that extent? Do you think him signing that extension changes your long term future here? I have no idea, honestly. Jordan, how's that transition gone with Tom taking over the quarterback's room? And just what have you thought of working with him you know, so far? Here? Yeah, um, it's been good with Tom. Um, he is a, he's a great quarterback coach. He is um, pretty much a legend. Um, Aaron loves him. Um, and I see why, like, just working with him for a couple months, um, he is honed in. He's locked into us just learning and growing every day. Um, but our relationship is good so far, and I, I really enjoyed working with him. Is he blunt, like to the point? Oh, for sure. You know, he's, he's blunt. I, I don't think he has anything to prove. He knows, you know, what's he's been around it. He knows. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's straight to the point, which I like. <clears throat> hey, Jordan, okay. some of us that are really old remember in 2006 when Far played, it mm -hmm. was like he was going to be done. And then he came back. So, Aaron has been in the same spot here. Mm -hmm. really, has he given you any advice? I mean, Yeah, I mean, we've talked about that plenty. Um, it, like you said, same situation he was in. Um, and really, he's told me just take these reps, act like I'm the guy, be the guy. When he's not here, he said the same thing. Favre wasn't there. He was running the show, um, OTAs and all that. So he just says, you know, take it around with it. What's your first impressions of working with Christian and Romeo? Do they remind you of anybody that you, you know, played with in the past? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they remind me of anybody I've played with in the past, but I think they're two really good players that uh, once they get this system down, I think they're going to be really good. And I think they're going to be able to go play this year right away. Um, from what I've seen, they're really good guys. Um, they got they got some hands. Christian can move. Um, and Romeo, he, he's got some hands. So they're going to be good weapons. Jordan, put you on the spot. Is Christian faster than MVS? Oof. Hmm. Couldn't tell you. I haven't seen Christian really open it up yet. I haven't seen him uh, be able to do that, but MVS can move. I, I don't know what their 40 times were compared to each other, but yeah, I don't know that one yet. Jordan, I know this is about getting ready and improving and everything else, but you're getting to run your offense. Mm -hmm. Did you just get to have fun playing football and yeah. get these opportunities? For sure. Um, that's kind of the thing that I try and, and, and focus on right now is just have fun with it. Don't put too much pressure on myself. Obviously, the situation I'm in, like, there's not much pressure on me right now, um, but I have to continue to put that pressure on myself. And uh, the coaches do the same thing, but I look at it every day, just trying to have fun, trying to go out there and enjoy it as much as I can.